area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Them use a dummy. 2020 sniper, it's a rap like a mummy. I've been eating all these beats, man, it's showing in my tummy. Uh, spitting out hits like you spitting out saliva. Always war ready for the action like my guys. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Let the blick of blam hit your man. Follow me on Instagram. Vada underscore fly, tell your mama I said hi. Salute to Rare Breed Entertainment, Calico, Hitman Holla. I do have my thoughts, my recap of their face off. I got my notes, I got my quotes, and there's just some things I wanted to talk about. Salute to Rare Breed Entertainment, first and foremost. ARP for putting together Max Out 2. Salute to Hitman Holla, salute to Calico. I, I have stated that you know, I'm gonna be giving away a couple pay-per-views. Every time I've said I was gonna give away a pay-per-view, I've done it. You can check the files. I gave out a pay-per-view for the first Max Out. I've given out pay-per-views, and that's just something that I do to like, you know, give back to the fans who support this content. I said the only thing that I've been asking people to do in order to kind of like get yourself involved with it is just, you know, go to Instagram, follow me, and then, you know, we'll pick out a couple random people. I might ask a question. I might ask a question on Instagram like, when is the first time I said, uh, when you start rapping like that? When you start, when's the first time I said that? The first time I said that was in a blog of Shotgun Shug versus Snake Eyes. That's the answer to the question, so I won't answer, I won't ask that question, but I'll ask a question and the first person to reply with the right answer or something like that, or I'll just pick it random. But the quickest way is to just follow me on the gram, you know what I'm saying? Y'all be, I've been asking for it for forever. I got one, support. Um. So this Hitman versus Calico. Um, a lot of things transpired during it, and I do got my thoughts about how I feel like, and I feel like the battle is gonna go. Uh, these guys, Hitman, he has a lot of points that he stands on, and he has a way of going about expressing himself like he always has. Some people like to call him emotional, other people say he's in his feelings, but I definitely respect Hitman's stance, because Hitman Holla was asked, is he the king of mid the Midwest? He replied, I'm the king of battle rap. Like, I got the most views, I'm the biggest name. He's he, There's not two or three names bigger than Hitman Holla. He's got the most views, he's got some of the biggest battles. This is what he's done, not just for now, but for a long time, Hitman Holla has been one of those ones. He asked Calico, why are you battling me again? Because Calico did state that I beat you. I battled you before and I beat you. Yes, the one round battle with the Snoop Dogg, yes, Calico did win that battle in the one rounder. But I do have to start with Hitman Holla battling again so soon. Uh, he just battled on the first Max Out versus Cassidy. Hitman Holla is not one that's known to battle every month or every other month and every couple months like that. I view him battling as a sign. Not saying that he got beat, that he got smoked. There's going to be people who feel like Cassidy beat him. There's people that he feel like he beat Cassidy, whatever the case may be. I feel like he wants to prove a point, though, because what Hitman Holla said in his battle versus Cassidy was, I'm going to make it to where Cassidy does not get booked anymore. That mission specifically was not accomplished. Cassidy will get booked again. Hitman Holla did not do, he did not succeed in the mission of destroying Cassidy to the point where nobody wants to ever see him again. So now I look at it like, He's getting another one out the way. Of course, it's another bag. Of course, it's another big look. Of course, it's another bigger stage. But I respected what Calico said as far as with the, 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 um, the crowd just being excited to be back. That meant a lot because they wasn't even really, like in the first round, Hitman was able to get off. You know what I'm saying? Like he was able to get off kind of clean. It wasn't really booing or talking through his material. In the second and third round, that battle just went to the left. Like, it went downhill so fast that when it released, I wasn't even able, I didn't even watch it again. I'm not going to hold you. I watched it when it happened originally, and that was it. I didn't watch it twice because the crowd ruined the battle. Crowds can ruin battles. And in that regard, booing both parties like that, not even letting them get their bars off. And this is stuff that 
you, people cheered for Hitman for years, doing some of the same stuff that he was doing, and now they booing. It made no sense. They cheered for him for what he was doing, but now they booing. It really made no sense. He didn't. He wasn't able to get his material off as clean as he wanted to, and you know, Cass was in the same boat. You know what I mean? Like he 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 did have that. Use your ears and eyes. You was knocking niggas out, but where was I? I said Cassidy has started to find himself. I said Cassidy, you know, it took, it's taking certain battle rappers, a couple battles to literally find himself. Reed Dollars was the same way. When he first came in, he wasn't as clean as he is now. He's got Murder Mook next. We'll talk about that sooner or later. Uh, Calico said, I'm here to pull the equity out of you. Yes, he's right. The equity of Hitman is a huge battle. I seen Hitman literally battle the dude from jail, which was basically a nobody, and the battle did almost a million views. Like, he can battle anyone, anywhere, at any time, and you're gonna do a million views. You're gonna do big numbers. So when Calico says, I'm pulling the equity out of you, he knows that a battle, do you believe? He knows that a battle versus Hitman is gonna do huge numbers. Everybody's gonna watch it. Everybody's gonna talk about it, and the numbers are gonna be there. He said, uh, you got five blogs about me. I got none about you. Hitman Holler does not go and, you know, just jump on cam and start dissing people and shit like that. Like, he's that's just not his thing. He don't do that. He said, I didn't get jumped by no Crips recently. Um, there's a lot of different circulating stories around. Hitman Holler did speak on it recently, saying that, you know, he got jumped years ago. And it was because of a situation where, you know, he had gotten to a fight with a dude, knocked a dude out. But then he went to a basketball tournament in their hood. And, you know, the dudes jumped him and his, his cousin on the way to the car. His cousin got hit in the head with a bottle. Long story short, you know, the way he's saying that, the way Calico presented it recently is not what happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't get jumped recently. He didn't get jumped by no Crips in St. Louis. And, you know, I did a little bit of the digging into it just so, you know, for the purpose of what I'm speaking about so I can have some knowledge. But Hitman is vehemently denying that he got jumped recently. Uh, I do feel like that battle is going to have some some energy between them. You know what I'm saying? They did speak about touching people. Hitman Hollis said, I don't touch nobody. I don't want to be touched, you know what I'm saying? Because Cal Calico can get physical, not like when Arsenal grabbed Cass physical, but you know, he bat bat, they flying through the cave, you know what I'm saying? Bat bat, they flying through the cave physical. Um, the, the shit that he did with uh, Pat Stay and all of that, he, he does do that. Uh, he said, uh, what he said? He said, uh, oh, he was talking about uh, I'm the king of battle rap and he said why is hitman battling so soon he answered that uh, he said I don't want the easy holler That's what he did say. Uh, I will respect the fact that Calico said he does not want the easy hitman holler He wants the hitman holler that's gonna bring his maximum a game so that he can you know Be able to rap with him Calico did battle a verb and Calico beat a verb. You know what I'm saying like that That's I don't even know if that's really like up for debate. He clearly beat verb He rapped better than him that day and it just was what it was um, this battle really is all about reception because when I say reception, how it's received. If the crowd, the crowd can easily take this battle and do what they did with Cassidy versus um, uh, Hitman. They can easily do that. But if they let them get the bars off and react to stuff accordingly, like how we know battle rap crowds to be, it can be a phenomenal battle. I feel like... And I feel like, I go back and forth every day. Some days I have Calico 2-1, some days I have Hitman Holler 2-1. I feel like Hitman has more to prove. Like, Hitman has a lot to, the reason why I say that is because when you coming off your last joint and it went the way it went, people is like, yo, that Hitman could be beat. And I think Hitman, you know, he's a very prideful individual. You know, he takes his brand, he takes himself very seriously. And I know that he would want nothing more than to show a Calico and when it comes to being the best ever in the Midwest, I know he well, he takes that very seriously, and he's gonna want to show out. You know what I'm saying? Not not like his bro and he probably he may include show out, but he's gonna want to show out in this battle. Um, Calico, you know he's got a lot of talent. I like what Calico does. Um, I like the fact that he's able to break down street reality, real life, you know what I'm saying? Um, when it's real, it don't got to rhyme, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a difference between metaphors and real rap. What Calico are we going to get, though? Are we going to get the Calico that battled Ill Will? The Calico that battled Ill Will was pretty talented. And Ill Will is a very, 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 very hard MC to beat. No, but people just don't be beating Ill Will like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas just don't beat. They don't wake up in the morning and just beat Ill Will. Like, Ill Will is one of the most... 
versatile MCs. And I'm, I'm gonna just jump into the Ill Will versus Jag right quick, and then I'll end it off with the Hitman versus Calico. Um, my thoughts and who I think is gonna win. Um, he's hit me. Ill Will is one of the most talented MCs out there. Nobody's just beating Ill Will. He can go on any league, on any platform. He's able to freestyle, he's able to rebuttal, he's able to uh, break down pockets of material. He had a very good battle versus A Ward, where a lot of people gave that battle to Ill Will. That, oh my. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. It was manufactured. I still remember that fucking bar, ill will. Golly! What? Duh. This small ill will is a beast, yo. Um, most people are gonna have Jag losing. I ain't gonna hold you. Jag is people got you getting Peter rolled, my guy. I seen polls that got it like 90 to 92 to 8. Like, and the reason the thing about it is, Jag, you're supposed to lose to Ill Will. You're not supposed to be ill will. Are you crazy? Ill Will is one of the representatives of battle rap. He's one of the biggest brands, the biggest names, building himself independently, battling on RBE, battling on URL. He's even went over the king of the battle. You're not supposed to be Ill Will. That's the thing. It ain't about, it's not about you. You're not supposed to beat Ill Will. You're not supposed to get around versus Ill Will. You're supposed to get smoked. Like, you You know that, right? Ill Will, Brody. Crawford, let your man know he's supposed to lose to Ill Will. It's not supposed to be close. If Ill Will has a debatable, see, Jag in his last joint, I had Jag winning, you know what I'm saying, because Jag versus O-Red, Jag won that battle. His first round, he was all over, I don't know what he was rapping about, but in his second and third round, <sighs> This nigga say, you live your life off shit that you seen on screen. I had to look out the screen door. That type of shit right there when O-Red, I don't know what O-Red was rapping about. But, uh, Jag has a chance, but it's a puncher's chance. He literally has only a puncher's chance to beat Ill Will. It is not, you don't have a great chance. I'm just being honest with you. A-Ward versus, uh... Rosenberg Raw, Rosenberg Raw, you know, he, he feel like he got a lot to prove, you know what I'm saying? He want to he wanna show out versus uh, A-Ward. He did his thing and beat Show Off last time, but A-Ward is a different type of MC. He's been beating everybody. A-Ward's got fucking three, but four battles coming up. He's got Rosenberg Raw, he's got Ryder, he's got Fonz, and he's got Charlie Clips. I got another blog coming up about the A-Ward situation that I want to talk to y'all about that as far as stocks and all of that. But uh, A-Ward going into it is going to be picked to win. I know RBE is Rosenberg Raw's house, but A Ward is on fire right now. So he's going to be picked to win the battle. 2 1, if not 3 0. Uh, Rosenberg Raw does have the ability, though. He can shock crowds. He can make moves. He can do powerful things. Um, overall, I think the card is dope, um, top to bottom. Uh, they got some good battles on there. You know what I mean? I'm going to just um, be honest with you. ARP, you get a round of applause because you continuing to do what you do. And face the shit that you face when motherfuckers trying to block battles, take niggas off cards, get niggas to back out, and all this other shit. For you to continue to do what you do is very admirable. And, you know, I see the, the conversations that you have with different artists. I seen you talking to Ryder the other day about, you know, it shouldn't be you can only battle over here. You can't battle nowhere else. And if you battle somewhere else, you can't come. Like, all of that shit, if you can't get paid on the earth this big, you worthless kid, you don't even deserve to live. And you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm wrapping it up, but I just got to keep wrapping it up. You know what I'm saying? Um... With these artists, I see so many artists go through issues where, you know, they be they don't they're not getting bread like that, they're not getting booked like that, they're not getting the names they want like that, you know. And the one good thing about the independence, as far as like what we do over here, me and Showtime SP, we can talk about any league, we can talk about any battles, we can talk about any artists because we don't work specifically for nobody. And that's the beauty of independence. Like you, I could talk about any league. It don't matter what league comes out with a card. I could big them up. I could show support. I could show love. I could give away free pay per views and shit like that. ARP not giving me no pay-per-views to give away. I didn't ask them to and I would never do that. I'm going to pay for them because it's just showing love to the people that support and follow me back. You know what I'm saying? I ask you no know, simple, simple shit. Follow me on Instagram. Ask to answer a question. That's simple shit to get a potentially see the battles for free. And I've done it before and I'll do it some more. But salute to ARP. Salute to Rare Breed Entertainment. I'll wrap it up like this with the Hitman versus Calico. Um, right now, right now, right now. Give me Hitman Holler 2-1. I had Calico, but give me Hitman Holler 2-1. If you're going to beat him, beat him. Show me what you're going to do. Dope face off. Let's get it.